Hello everyone and we're back for another episode of Extinct Rex Originals. And for today's episode, we're going to talk about the Lego compatible custom Jurassic Park Dinosaurus. But first of all, I'd like to thank YouTube.com Audio Library for this awesome background music. And of course, please like, share, and subscribe, and also hit that notification button. Just click on the icons below. Thanks everyone! The winners of the Destiny's PC Contest will be announced at the end of the video, but for now, here's how to join. Just click on the Extinct Bricks icon and then click on the community link to be able to see all my posts. That was scary. Well, anyways, here we are with the video and I'm so excited for this one and Moira will be joining me to present the Tylosaurus. Moira here with her new hairstyle is on a submarine because apparently she cannot swim. <laughs> so anyways, this Tylosaurus is actually based off from the Jurassic Park Telltale's uh, Tylosaurus. You can see the picture here if you do not know it yet. I like the colors and the overall character design of this Tylosaurus and that is mainly the reason why I created this custom. Mario will be coming back soon for more size comparisons but for now, let us have a closer look. And as I've said earlier, this is actually uh, based off the Jurassic Park Tales uh, game. And uh, you can see here that the main coloration as well as the design of the custom is actually mainly based off that particular uh, character. Now you can see here I have placed several uh, black stripes and uh, on top of a blue and light uh, blue underbelly and that made it uh, very much similar to that of the uh, main creature. Now I also colored in the the inside of the mouth so that it will be um, more fierce and uh, you can see here the articulation you can close and open its mouth it can turn its head like so and uh, somehow uh, move its head up and down but just a little bit okay so uh, other than that it also has uh, articulations on um, the bottom part where it can attach to uh, four by two pieces of uh, a Lego brick uh, other than that, it also has articulations on the fins, very much similar to that of my Mosasaurus, my Plesiosaurus, and also my um, Megalodon. Alright, so it can twist and also it has several uh, articulations and is very very much dynamic. Alright, so there are also spines on, on the end tail. Uh, which can have articulations like so and can move its tail uh, by waggling it from right and left uh, very much similar to how it would swim in real life look, 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 look. <laughs> I love playing with this one uh, it also has um, the spikes on the back of course and uh, I really like how this turned out and that's it for the closer look now it is time for us to have some size comparisons. Now I brought um, Moira here outside uh, so that we can compare accordingly with a normal minifigure size. Now with that said, comparing with an actual reconstruction of the Thylosaurus with that of a human, it's pretty much uh, the accurate size. Now let's compare with my other creatures uh, under Extinct Rix Marine. First would be the Plesiosaurus. Now, comparing it side by side with the Plesiosaurus, you can see definitely that, of course, the Tylosaurus would be a lot bigger uh, in terms of um, bulkiness and also the length of the creature, even if Plesiosaurus would have a longer neck. <laughs> now, that's it for Plesiosaurus. Now, it's time for us to... Dun dun, dun dun, dun dun, dun dun, dun dun, dun <laughs> Now, there you go. That is my Megalodon. Now, comparing it uh, from the front, you can see here, let's focus the camera a little bit away so that they would all fit the camera. So, you can see here, of course, that um, they are pretty much the same size in terms of uh, figure size, even if you take a look at it 
from above, you can see here. All right, so now it's better. You can see here that the tail ends uh, and the snout actually meet together, and uh, uh, and I'm liking the way it it turned out to be. In real life, Megalodon may be bigger compared to that of the mini figure, but hey, I'm fine with it. <laughs> now it is time for us to have one of my largest creations. This is the Mosasaurus! Now, I don't know if it will still fit the camera, so maybe let's adjust a little bit more. And press zoom out button! <laughs> I don't know if it's working, but let's make do with this, okay? So let's compare um, all of my creatures or my marine uh, extinct rex creatures all together. So this is the uh, Mosasaurus figure. And comparing it side by side with my Tylosaurus, the newest addition to my family of uh, marine creatures, you can see definitely that, of course, my Mosasaurus would be definitely longer than that of the Tylosaurus. There's quite a bit, uh, if you um, proportion it, it's like one and a half uh, of the um, Tylosaurus. Having them all out together like this really is... Um, a treat for me because I rarely do uh, play with them and uh, although I make a lot of uh, customs uh, ever since two months ago uh, I do I do have a lot of work to do and uh, it still is a treat for me to be uh, looking at them one by one and also playing with them uh, every now and then so uh, guys really you don't know uh, this is really um, uh, a big treat for me when I was actually doing this video alright so guys here they are all lined up so we have here the Tylosaurus, the Mosasaurus, the Plesiosaurus and the Megalodon so, uh, more here would like to know which one is your favorite among the four uh, extinct rex marine creatures and would also be liking uh, whatever you would be suggesting on the comments below for the next marine creature that I will be making so there are a lot so um, if you do like the smallest or the biggest just comment down below I, I will be reading them and let's see if your suggestion makes the list now it is time for us to do a sand break now this particular figure has 12 parts to it let's start with the head all right so let's connect the head with the lower jaw Okay, so that was easy. Now let's connect these pegs with the corresponding flippers. One, two, three, and four. All right, so now that we have these pieces, we can now connect the head to the body. And so, let's have the left flipper and that of the right now the back flippers all right and then the left one now let's finish it off with the tail piece test it and that completes the figure the Jurassic Park Tylosaurus. Now let's go to Extinct Breaks at Work, where I have my footages and some um, pictures of when I was doing this creature. So here you can see me starting off with some sketches using several base figures. So I used here the dragon figure and my old. Um, I used a uh, Spinosaurus bootleg. And here is what I've got so far. Now aside from the head of the uh, Spinosaurus and the body of the dragon, I will also be using several other pieces from the Tyrannodon uh, for this particular figure. So you can see here some of the things that I will be using and you will be seeing them here on the completed uh, kit bash figure. So you have here all the elements I have here. Uh, also the wings of the Thestrals for the front flippers and also leaves from the um, uh, Lego tree. <laughs> Who would think of that, no? 
Now, after I'm satisfied with the kick bashing portion, I do the usual steps, which is filling up the gaps and then starting off with the sculpting. And then after the sculpting, I did some more um, details to it, such as the spines on the back. And then I started on with the primer. And here I am with the primer. And then after it is uh, thoroughly dried, I started off with the painting. So painting wise, I always start with the lighter base color. So uh, of course, it is much more lighter on the underbellies and also the under fins. So here I am painting off uh, these uh, parts of the body. Then I moved on with the uh, lighter blue on the top portions of the figure. Now, for this blue section, I did uh, include some gradient as well in between the uh, lower belly part, which is the lighter part, and then also uh, with the upper uh, sections of the um, figure itself. You will be seeing that on the next few um, sections. So here I am already putting on that gradient, so here is uh, a lighter color of the blue. Uh, section here you will see uh, it's very much similar to that of the uh, Mosasaurus but uh, a little more apparent on this figure. Some species of dolphins actually exhibit this type of um, coloration. So after that I started on with several more details especially on the head and then also uh, with sections of the body. So here I am adjusting on with some colors and putting on some speckles on the darker parts just to break down the straight lines of it. Having these uh, certain color uh, changes to the body is actually uh, good in a way because it will add several more details on the creature rather than just blue and just black stripes. So speaking of black stripes, so I started on with this bluish black color and uh, I started with the head and then moving on to the body. I really tried to make everything very symmetrical in a way. So I started on first doing the first or one side of the body and then moving on to the uh, other side uh, after I have finished this up. So here I am working on the other side, uh, taking into reference uh, the uh, look of what I did from the um, left portion of the figure. Uh, this is actually uh, a relief for me because uh, actually it takes a little bit more time doing the first side than the other uh, uh, contralateral side. So here I am just doing on the finishing details. Of course, it will uh, have to be painted. The eyes, the um, spikes on the back as well as the uh, inner of the portions of the mouth as well as the teeth. So after this, the figure is actually done. And I rarely mention that uh, I do use a uh, clear coat after all the painting details has been done. I use the Bosni number 191 flat clear acrylic spray for this one. So that's it for Extinct Bricks at Work. It is now about ending of the video, so let's have last looks. In the Jurassic Park franchise, the clone Tylosaurus had a row of spikes running down its neck to its upper back like outdated depictions of Mosasaurus from the late 1800s. It also lacked a pale fluke with another row of spikes covering the tail. The clone skull was unlike Tylosaurus being as short as that of a Mosasaur platycarpus with the jaws not being completely straight. Its length is about 12 meters or 40 feet and weighed around 5 tons in total. The skin color of the clone Tylosaurus was a shade of blue with black striping and yellow-white underbelly. It was nicknamed Jurassic Park's Devil from the Deep and was scheduled for Phase 2. And that ends the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Moira here is just checking on the teeth of our Tylosaurus here because we do believe that health is wealth and that includes dental health. And now it is time for us to announce the Guess This PC Contest winners. There have been a lot of correct answers from the last contest and that's why we are having 10 lucky picks for this round. Tommy Mommy 2, Santiago Quintero Quintana, 
Wendy Diaz, Hayden Jolie, The Grappy Dude, Lego Jurassic Crip, Killer Shark 07, Brits Genie, Maritanicus Spinosaurus, and Daniel Palma. Congratulations everyone! And now for our top 10 winners, Priscilla D, Manuel Laurello Cuesta, Madonna Nera, The Acro 34, Xenomorph 636, Yaroslav Novkotsky, Meme Meme, Aaron Peher, Jurassic Bricks, and a Spinaraptor underscore one. Congratulations everyone! Keep on joining and you could be the first Extinct Bricks Dino Wiz. Also, the real life Asher and Moira have their own vlog now, The Adventures of Moira and Asher. Please do support them, they're on their second video now. Please also follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and here in YouTube. And as we always would say, let your inner dino break roar!